with all these for my tarp setup. Uh, tarp, I put it in my Thermarest um, bag. But I mean, this is my tarp. How small it packs up new, just barely takes up any space in your pack. This is the uh, mosquito net that I've been wanting to show you guys. It's by Sea to Summit. It's called the Nano Mosquito Pyramid Net. And they do have another version of this. I don't think it's called the Nano. It's called just Mosquito Net Pyramid. And that one weighs like nine pounds, or nine pounds, <laughs> nine ounces. But this one here weighs 2.9. I weighed it at home. I think it was like 3.1 ounces. But I mean, to have a mosquito net and be protected from the bugs, totally, totally worth it. So they also make a double version of this. And this is the single, which it is four feet wide by seven foot one long. And um, these are the stakes I use. I'm sure you've seen them in other of my videos. Uh, MSR groundhog stakes, my trekking poles, which you know can adjust. And then I use um, Tyvek ground sheet. So that's what, um, that's pretty much the shelter setup. So now I'm gonna set it up and show you guys. So, I got it all set up now. Um, I just got absolutely tore up by a Nosium when I first got here. They were just biting me everywhere. But anyways, I um, guess it's a good day to test out the mosquito net to uh, you know see if Nosium get in there, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes definitely can't get in there. I was just hanging out in there for a little bit and um, Definitely saw some noceum actually go through the netting so Definitely um, You know it doesn't stop The noceum 100% but definitely deters them quite a bit. I mean once I got in there the noceum and mosquitoes went away but it is pretty nice um, this is a different setup than I had in my yard a few days ago. That was, um, you know, set up for, um, for mos not mosquitoes. <laughs> that was more set up for, you know, storm mode and rain. And this is just kind of good for, you know, beautiful days like this to get some, a lot of airflow in and out of there. All right, so let's take you guys underneath here and kind of show you. So you can see it's held up by a uh, carabiner. That's just a Z-Pax carabiner that I used up top there. And then the two corners for the mosquito net are held down by the MSR stakes. And I, don't, I ran out, so in these corners here, I just used them, um, just found a stick. And the way to get in this thing, it doesn't have a zipper or anything, which it's nice, it reduces weight, but I'll show you how to get in it. So you're gonna just lift one of the corners up and then slide in there and try not to get a bunch of bugs in there with you. You just gonna pop right in. And you can see, without Tyvek, I mean, you're on the bare ground. But it's nice because the net does extend over here, so you just throw your Tyvek over it, and with your weight, I mean, really nothing is gonna get in. And then I just kinda take my shoes off. And cover the other corners. I mean, there's 
Definitely not a lot of livable space in here, but for what it's meant for, it works. You know, it's supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. <laughs> and it does that. Lots of flies outside. Definitely keeps those away. Those are horse flies and they're tearing you up too. So overall, I like it. And on the ends here, where it's tied down, they're color coordinated, so that's kind of nice. The uh, the head end is uh, red, red for head, red head, and then down by your feet it is blue. You have blue tie-outs down there, so and they do offset the um, this tie-out right here more towards your head, so you have more headroom, just because you don't really. You don't really need a lot of foot room. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Any comments or anything, let me know. Feel free to subscribe and like the video. Alright everyone, take care.